Hi there, my name is Johnny. I'm from the Gateway Church, Newcastle, and I just wanted to share a little encouragement with you today. I don't know how you are doing in this season of life, but one of the blessings that I've been able to enjoy is more time with my family. And one of the things that we've been doing with that time is in the mornings, just spending time praying together and worshipping God together. And this morning, we were listening to a song called Yes and Amen by Chris Tomlin. And the song goes, faithful you are. Speaking of God, it says, faithful God you are. Faithful God forever you will be. It says, all your promises, God, are yes and amen. All your promises are yes and amen. It says, I will rest in your promises, God. My confidence is your faithfulness. And what the, the song is pointing to is that God is faithful. God is faithful in all things and we can take him at his word. And we're so blessed, so blessed that he's given us the Bible. He's given us this book, which is full, full of truth, full of God's promises. And he, he wants us to know his truth and he wants us to know his promises to, to all people, to the whole of creation. He wants us to know that when he says that he's sent a saviour, called Jesus so that we can be forgiven for our sin, forgiven for all the wrong that we've done against him. That We can trust that and that's true. When he says that in Jesus we can have complete peace with him, that we can be reconciled to him. He wants us to know that that's true and that's a promise that we can hold on to. When God says that we've got nothing to fear, when we don't need to be anxious about anything, that's a promise that we can cling on to, we can hold on to. When God promises us a, a hope of eternity with him in Jesus Christ, that's a promise that he wants us to hold on to. When God teaches us in the Bible that he wants us to come to him as a, a heavenly father that we can come to, that we can love and that we can be loved by. He wants us to know that that is a promise and that is the truth that we can cling to and we can hold on to. So I, I just want to say that if you've put your faith in Jesus, if you know that he's forgiven you of your sin and reconciled you to God, I, I want you to be encouraged. I want you to be built up knowing that there are so many promises from God that are positive towards you, that are good for you, that are there to encourage you and build you up. And if you, if you don't know peace with God through Jesus Christ, if you haven't come to him as the one who can forgive you for all the wrong that you've done against God, then I want to encourage you and say, like, God's given you the Bible. He's given you this book. In this nation, at least you can get a hold of this on the internet. Um, you can read it online. And in there you can see all the promises that God has, has given to you. That he wants you to be reconciled to him. That he wants you to come to him. Maybe you're out your depth reading the Bible. I'm sure you'll be able to reach out to a Christian of, of some sort. I'm a Christian. Comment on this video. Get in touch if you want to know about having peace with God. I'll talk to you. I'll tell you. But maybe you've got Christian friends or family members. Maybe there's a church you know of uh, that's closer to you. I, I just encourage you to reach out. I encourage you to, to take the opportunity in this time to reach out to God who's reaching out to you. Reached out to you in Jesus Christ and wants you to know of all of his good promises. He wants you to know of his faithfulness. That you could have peace today and peace in eternity. And so I hope that is an encouragement to you. God bless you and I hope you have a great day.